all agree, a clean place is a safe place. Today we're going to be talking about kitchen hygiene. This will comprise of washing of hands, cleaning of vegetables and fruits, cleaning up the workspace to clean up as you go um, in the kitchen, whether it's spillage, whether it's um, the dishes, washing of cloths, and uh, the general storage of food to avoid cross-contamination. Um, the storage of food is uh, of particular importance, but it will have its own section, so I won't dwell too much on that one today. Let's go into kitchen hygiene. Bacteria may sit on kitchen surfaces, be it on top of the cupboards, on the stove itself, or anywhere else on the floor. So here's a guideline on keeping a hygienic, safe kitchen. Always washing your hands, as I've mentioned before. Washing at the tap using running water, or at least from a jug, but you must be using running water. Um, washing your hands, especially after using the toilet and just before preparing food, or after you've touched the bin, um, and it really significantly reduces the spread of several types of harmful bacteria, including E. coli. Um, studies have shown that 25% of all foodborne diseases arise from poorly washed um, hands or food. Cleaning up will also help to avoid any accidents, uh, like when you spill something on the floor, you should mop it up immediately in case somebody comes and passes there or you, you yourself, if you're working alone, may slip when you've forgotten that you've spilled something on the floor. So that's why also cleaning up is important in that respect. Um, our sponges and uh, dish cloths, the swabs that we use in the kitchen, should be soaked in warm water and detergent at least twice a week um, and soak them overnight to just get rid of the, all the bacteria. Uh, you will find that sometimes they will end up having a, a smell, a distinctive smell. If you find that they still have that smell even after you've soaked them, then please just dispose of them and get some new ones. They should be changed every month, these sponges and uh, dishcloths. And also when you do your washing of the dishes, it is advisable not to wipe them, just let them drip dry and then you can push the, put them away. That is if you are doing hand wash. And um, fruits and vegetables should be washed as well before we use them or before we consume them. Um, the vegetables or fruits that have a hard uh, shell should be, should be washed using a, a brush. You can brush the, all the dirt away and wash them under running water. Um, it also improves, um, it, it, it helps the harmful bacteria from, from getting into the, into the food. Leafy greens can be cleaned by soaking them in a large bowl of cool water or a solution of water and vinegar for about five minutes. Rinse well and drain with a colander. Um, storage of uh, food in the kitchen is very important. When storing food in fridges or coolers, make sure the food is at room temperature or lower. Um, putting food in the refrigerator before it actually cools may create um, a problem in that the, the food will cool unevenly and therefore it can cause food poisoning. So let it cool and then once it's really cool, you can put it in the fridge.